Pedalblazer, this is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, and in today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about a pretty massive issue on YouTube right now, which is Chinese governmental propaganda on YouTube, and how YouTube basically takes down videos that are anti-Chinese propaganda on YouTube, if that makes sense. And also, I'm very proud to say that in this video, I'm gonna be joined by two legends on YouTube that have been making videos on China for years now. I had a little interview with Serpent ZA and LaoY86 themselves, uh, the guys that have been making videos on China for ages and that uh, have made videos exposing the bad sides of the Chinese government and the Chinese society etc and basically put their well-being and their social status at risk by just telling the truth online which I respect to a massive degree now for those of you guys who are out of the loop let me describe the entire situation and why I'm even making this video right now basically a couple of days ago I released a video on a certain youtuber by the name of Nathan Rich if you guys don't know who Nathan Rich is he's essentially a youtuber that just panders to the Chinese boomers and uh, makes pro-Chinese Communist Party videos, smears Hong Kong protesters and calls them terrorists and stuff like that, and also smears any other YouTuber like Serpent ZA or Lao Wei 86 who actually do not praise China and the Chinese government as being perfect. He basically claims that these people are liars, they're fake, and they're racist because they're being racist to Chinese people by uh, criticizing the Chinese government. So Nathan Rich made a video dissing Serpent ZA, and Serpent ZA is an OG Chinese YouTuber. He's been doing YouTube for like more than 10 years now he's been uh, talking about Chinese issues and stuff like that he's lived in China for a very long time and he is spitting facts in his videos and this Nathan Rich guy he basically did this video painting him as like a racist that you know just lies about China and he said some very strange problematic things in his video as well China is not yours China belongs to the Chinese people you're a guest in their country, and if you act like an entitled little child, it's not everyone else's fault if no one likes you. And I saw through that, and I was like, this guy's basically a puppet of the Chinese government, so I made a video about him, and guess what? 12 hours after I uploaded my video, my video was taken down by YouTube for hate speech and bullying and harassment. That's kind of weird, isn't it? And the fact is that my video had no hate speech or bullying or harassment towards the guy. Like, I didn't even insult him that much. I just called him a, like, a broke-ass, bald and bankrupt or something like that. I was not even rude or anything to the guy in the video. You can just watch the video now. I've actually appealed the decision of YouTube and YouTube actually reinstated my video. So that's good, but the biggest problem is that, uh, essentially, by my video being deleted, it stopped getting views. Uh, so, essentially, my video got uh, two times less the views that it possibly could have had if the video did not get taken down at the period of time when it was getting crazy views. So yeah, the takedown of my video by YouTube uh, got me actually wondering does YouTube have a pro-Chinese bias then? If a video that basically is sort of anti-Chinese you could say gets taken down for harassment and hate speech for no reason whatsoever is YouTube doing something behind the scenes here? And so I actually contacted both LaoY86 and Serpent ZA and they agreed to do a little interview with me for my channel where we basically will discuss this thing so guys uh, in this video I'll let them talk a lot more than me because I wanted to get the insight from people that actually know China much better than me and have lived in China for years so I uh, hope you guys do enjoy and uh, let's get into it so now I'm here with Winston from Serpent ZA and Matthew from LaoY86. This is incredible, by the way. I've been fans of these guys for years. They're here with me today to do a sort of little uh, talk about uh, what's going on with YouTube right now and with China and etc. You know, the first thing I was, I was really wondering is how much would you guys bet that me doing this video right now with you is getting me banned from China forever. <laughs> I'd say the chances are quite low. Yeah, okay? you, you don't need to worry about that. But we'll see how this interview goes, and then we'll give you a, a kind of rundown on your chances. Okay, yeah. 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 That's just like me and my friends in Russia, we were like uh, speaking, and uh, we were just wondering, like, how are you guys, you know, what's your process with that? Like, is China, has China completely banned you guys now or whatever? And like, he's like, if you make a video with these guys now, you're like, you're never coming to China, basically. No, I don't know. It's tough, it's tough to say because. Uh, we haven't recently tried to go back into China and uh, yeah. with the current climate, how it is at the moment, there's a very, very large chance that we'd be stopped yeah. and questioned and possibly denied entry. It's hard to tell. I mean, the writing's on the wall when you see like almost all of your friends are not there anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like people that have been there just as long as us, they're all gone. Yeah. And they're not even a media like us, right? The writing was on the wall for a lot of foreigners there. They're like, I can't, I can't live here anymore. It's hostile. Yeah. But that's like the worst that could happen, right? Is that they could deny entry. It's not like they could no. jail a foreigner because that, that's got to be like an international scandal. Well, no. 
One of our friends or, is in political prison right now, so yeah, yeah that's not really? the worst that could happen. He's been <laughs> okay, uh, in a jail cell for a year now. Yeah, I'll tell you what the worst that can happen is, is they could let us in and then not let us out again. Yeah, it's just, it's just really, it's like, it's like really scary for me to see as well, because like, again, I'm from Russia again, not the freest country ever. Sure. Uh, when regarding like free speech and stuff like that, I talk about this all the time. But, I, but at the same time, I feel like in Russia, like, it still hasn't got to that point yet. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like, I really don't want it to reach that point. But that's, it's, it's real sad because we go in there. Right. Uh, well, I think you like, guys were there and then you got out of it, you know? But it's regressing again. Yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a lot of these YouTubers, like that, what that I've been talking about, that like make pro Communist Party propaganda, basically on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. In in a sense, a Chinese citizen needs to get a VPN to even see that, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like, why would you? And in a, isn't like having a VPN a crime technically? Yeah, the the thing is, <clears throat> it's not. It China's got this gray area, right? As long as you're doing something that's patriotic. They don't care what you're mm -hmm, doing. Mm -hmm. That's why you mm -hmm. have this situation where you've got uh, overseas Chinese students. And this, you can, you can actually equate the two together. If you go to like a university overseas in Australia or America or the UK, if there's like a pro Hong Kong democracy movement or they have a protest, mm -hmm. the pro CCP international students will go there. They will vandalize yeah. signs. They will spray paint over things. They'll tear down the Lenin walls. They'll scream and shout and be aggressive and terrible towards the other students. And never once has any of the have any of the Chinese consulates spoken against that. They mm. often say, "Oh no, they're just being patriotic," or they may have been mm. a little bit too patriotic, but you know they're just doing good for their country. They never speak against it; they only encourage it. And it's the same with the VPNs. So you know they can break the law all they want, but as long as they're doing it, you know, pro-China, they don't care. Okay, so of course, oh, right? I get it. So if you're using the VPN and you're not doing anything anti. CCP or whatever, you know, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. But Chinese people that get VPNs, they have kind of a more, uh, I want to say like liberal or a maybe anti-establishment mindset or whatever. So like, why would you use a VPN to just watch more Chinese propaganda? You know, in a sense, that's just, yeah, it just, just seems really weird. Well, um, actually, a lot of the times they only get the VPN in order to support pro-China stuff. Mm -hmm. So what will happen is... You get certain um, influences that are being hyped up on the Chinese media. So they'll be on Weibo, Billy Billy, things like that. And what they'll do is they'll go on there and make videos and say, YouTube is racist against Chinese people. So let's all go show these racist, uh, you know, Westerners what's what. <laughs> let's all get together. Yeah, yeah, Here, yeah. this is how you use this free VPN. Let's all go subscribe to my channel to prove that the West is racist against mm -hmm. China. So let's go do this. Let's thumbs up and let's go downvote and let's let's flag the other guys, you know? So they, yeah, yeah. they form these like mobs and then they go to these pro-China channels and they boost them. And that's the only reason they're getting the VPN. They don't, they don't care. They don't actually okay. want to look yeah. outside of the Great Firewall except to defend the honor of, you know, the Chinese people and China. And I have a couple of theories about this. Mm -hmm. um, originally, you would see the Chinese people that hopped over the Great Firewall and use a VPN, speaking, trying to speak English, trying to be supportive of you. And there were very few and far in between. We had very few Chinese sure. fans mm -hmm. that were typing to us. And what I think happened was when these forums, we, we read the Chinese forums sure. all the time. Sure. We try to stay up to date with what the netizens are talking about. And what we saw is all this brigading, right? Sure. So go over here. They said this video is, or in this video, they said China's bad. Chinese people are bad. The Chinese government's bad, blah, blah, blah. And I think the Chinese government probably saw a huge influx of patriotic netizens hopping yeah, over sure. to go leave hate comments and all this kind of stuff. And they have to have a reign on that. They have to control that narrative, right? So they allow it to a certain point. And this is why, this is my theory of why there's so many pro-Western uh, China YouTubers, yeah. China-based YouTubers. I'm not going to go off and say like, oh yeah, they're paid by the CCP, all this kind of stuff. I, can't, I have no proof mm -hmm. of that yet. But what I can see is that they're allowing to thrive. They're allowing to flourish. And they're in the, the forums, these hate forums and stuff that usually talk about us. Now there's a counter, a white face to talk about how awesome the CCP is, how awesome China yeah. is. And it's this beautiful, comfortable echo chamber. It's very cushy for them. Now they can go over and see this white dude being like, no, you're absolutely right. You guys are, are getting yeah, yeah. short into this. That's state. kind of like what I said in my video as well, right? Is that because it's obvious that these channels, they pander to an audience of Chinese people. They have yeah. subtitles, right? It's like, why, yeah. why, why otherwise would they have subtitles? Why would they put it on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, and 
it's essentially just people getting a VPN and they, oh, it's this Western dude and he's praising the Communist Party or whatever. Well, that's... There you go. Like, all of my beliefs are true. Correct. You know? And that's that's the, the end of my point there is that if you go on Billy Billy, you go on the actual Chinese video websites, you won't find yeah. these videos. Isn't that kind of weird? If they're going to mm. pander to a Chinese audience like this, yeah. most of these videos are not on there because they're too con controversial. They're bringing up issues yeah. that they don't want Chinese people to talk about. Sure. So when they hop over to, the, to YouTube, they're like, oh yeah, I, I wanted to find out about this controversial issue and guess what? The yeah. government was right. During some of my phases of YouTube, I was approached multiple times by organizations in China who said, we will give you subtitles, right. we will do subtitles for you, we will do this and we will get you onto the Chinese internet um, and we'll guarantee you a large Chinese audience. Mm -hmm. This was part of the package they were offering me, you see? And I think this is what's happening with a lot of these pro-China YouTubers is what they're doing yeah. is they're, they're being approached by these groups. I promise you, putting subtitles into a video is a tough job. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. something just anyone can do. First of all, you have to make sure your translations are accurate, right? Second of all, Getting the timing right and doing the actual subtitle file to make it actually work is a pain in the ass. And nobody who's got like maybe a, a small amount of subscribers, sub 100,000 subscribers or whatever, has the time or effort to shoot a video yeah. and then spend double or triple the time they've done editing right. the video to put in subtitles. So they have a team. You know? Yeah, and it's even more crazy because it's Chinese, right? Because yeah. like people tell me all the time, people ask me all the time. My Russian followers ask me all the time to make subtitles for in Russian for every single one of my, one of my videos. But like, that's that's yeah. way too much work. Yeah. And if exactly. it's Chinese, it's even more ridiculous. It like, is. Yeah. That's the thing. It's a huge amount of work. So this is what's happening is they've got teams doing the work for free. Whether they're being paid yeah. or not, I don't know. I was mm. never offered payment. But what I was offered was the reward of a big audience. Yes. Okay. And you do see this happen because as soon as you do these kind of pro-China videos and you have your subtitles... What will happen is the word will be spread and it will be put out like go support this guy mm. and then everyone hops on a VPN, they go there, they subscribe and they thumbs up. And that's why you can see small channels overnight getting very big. Yeah, whether the government influence on this whole scenario is passive or active, it doesn't really matter because what's happening is they're allowing it to happen. Yes. They're allowing this huge, huge boost in fame and you get these... You, I'm not going to you know, call out any names, but sure. there's a certain type of person that would absolutely love that kind of uh, domestic fame within mm. China. That's what a lot of people are chasing, right? Yeah. So they'll say anything that they're told. I it doesn't matter. A lot of the behavior that you see um, amongst very nationalist Chinese people, I can understand. <clears throat> yeah. From day one, when they went to school, this is how they were indoctrinated. Sure. I completely understand. I would be exactly the same. Yeah. I'm not some special snowflake that was born genetically with free, to free will, right? Yeah. But when I see other people from Western countries that didn't previously have pro-CCP opinions at all, yeah. whatsoever, yeah. now all of a sudden a light switch flips on and yeah, all of a sudden so they have this it's strong like, pro-CCP opinion. It's yeah. so weird because... You understand because like I, I see this in <clears throat> Russia as well because people are brought up in this sort of envir environments where um, you don't really have that kind of pluralism as you do in sure. like, the West mm -hmm. in a lot of the a lot of the times. So, and it's so weird to see foreigners that are supposed to see through the BS, you know, right. and uh, and they are repeating the exact same character tropes that you know that people that grew up in environments where they had no other opinion it had one opinion shut down the throats and now they're doing exactly that as a foreigner if you go to china you get a lot of attention mm -hmm. right and a lot of opportunities that you would never have had back home yeah. so let's say you are a loser drug addict <laughs> and you go to china all of a sudden you have all these people saying wow you're so handsome or you know let's be friends and they're treating you to uh, to dinners and they're giving you business opportunities you can be you can be the white monkey in my company, you know, I'll give you a high position in my company because you're a foreigner. And they're like, look how important I am. Look how awesome China is. China's giving me all these opportunities. Right. So all of a sudden to them, China is way better than where they're from mm -hmm. because back home, they're just like a nobody or a loser or, a, you know, maybe just weren't very successful. So and I think that the really damaging thing and the, the reason that these really selfish characters are so quick to change like this, you can see, like Winston was saying, our videos have changed over time because we've seen changes, not in ourselves, but in what's around us. And we owe it to whatever who's watching us to talk about those changes, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you have the most unbelievably selfish character who's willing to completely flip on a dime like that completely change their opinion because somebody told them to and they'd be rewarded for it you're they're completely destroying any sort of really necessary political discussion that chinese people need to have yeah. so if somebody's willing to hop over to youtube 
uh, from the Chinese internet over a VPN. The, the least that you can do is at least speak the truth, right? And now they're completely destroying any sort of discussion. They're yeah. completely contributing it's to this whole like they're dream taking, world. They're taking, so these people, maybe they didn't find success otherwise on YouTube, uh, maybe with some other sort of contact, uh, content, sorry. And sure. uh, in a sense, they see this as an, as an opportunity. So, okay, maybe I tried everything. I didn't yeah. make it. Mm. Maybe now this... Finally, I'll make I'll make it. Yeah, I find their I, I find their sudden passion. Their sudden passion is so convenient to me because it's happened so quickly in the short window. Yeah, like where was all this passion two years ago when you're making videos? <laughs> yeah. Why did it just happen now? And why you did just a get subtitles two years ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, spin this narrative that people like Seamilk and myself make money by making negative videos, and that. Only positive China videos get demonetized, but negative China videos are right, always monetized. Right, that's what monetized. I wanted to talk about as well. Yeah. So, like, um, I've been looking around at these mm -hmm. channels, and they always say that pro-China videos get demonetized, etc. <laughs> but then also, right, like, from, from my perspective again, I made a video, was kind of anti-China, right, you know? And it got taken down for hate speech and bullying, right? So, yeah. like, so do you think there is maybe some sort of pro Chinese bias on YouTube or is there an anti Chinese bias or is YouTube not biased towards let's, this kind of, let's, type of content? Like do you guys experience like video takedowns, you know, all that kind of stuff? Let's let's squash this right now. Yeah. All yeah. right. Your video being taken down is a great anecdotal piece of evidence, right? However, mm -hmm. if you specify just China only content, if we're talking about right. us versus pro CCP people that make videos, we both get demonetized. Yeah. Because we're talking about sensitive topics. It has nothing to do with pro-China or anti-China. But mm -hmm. they're using this narrative to say so. We get yeah. demonetized, I would say, 40% of the time. Yeah. Our podcast channel, yeah. maybe 60 70% of the time. And, and we are making too. stuff critical of the Chinese government, especially recently, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that argument that they're making makes zero sense. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. That, because that's what I was... Uh, that's what I w wanted to say as well is that... I was looking at this. I was looking at their channels and they say, I'm getting demonetized because I make videos against China... Or oh, pro-China. Right. Yeah. And it's like, no. Like, I'm... For example, again, with my channel, the same, right? I make videos... Discussing Russian stuff. It has nothing to do with China anyway, and I get demonetized anyway. Yeah, sure. So it's it's not like there's this ploy. No, no. By YouTube, YouTube is just too sensitive. Pro China stuff. Right. Like YouTube that. is yeah. very very sensitive at the moment, and you know there was a guy recently, like a, a guy that I know who made a video, and in his video he said again, Serpent today started to make negative videos, and he saw that it made him a lot of money, mm -hmm. so he just kept making negative videos. Yeah. So then I, I contacted him and I showed him screenshots of all my videos that are demonetized which are, you know, negative, you could say negative against China. And he didn't believe me. He was like, yeah, but ads still pop up and stuff. I'm like, yeah, sometimes it does. Yeah. It does work yeah. like that. I'm not getting the money. They're demonetized. But he couldn't believe it because he believed that narrative so much because it's been spread around the Chinese circles for so long. And all the other pro CCP guys are like, these guys make negative videos to make money. And we get hundreds of comments every day <laughs> from Chinese uh, Wumao trolls Wumao. who copy and paste yeah. that shit that they're reading on forums. You just make money from blacking China. You just make money from saying yeah. bad things about China. It's bullshit because half of our videos are demonetized too. We made so much <laughs> more money when we had to self-censor within China. Yeah. So much more money. Yeah, Not saying we were rich, but like we made more. If you make a video that's negative, right? right. You're mm -hmm. going to put keywords right. that will get you demonetized, like sure. protest, police, right. yeah. whatever, right? Right? Correct. So those was especially like if you're making a positive video, you know, you're not gonna. You, most of the time, you're not gonna get demonetized. So it's like it does, the argument doesn't even make sense. No, sure. have your beef with YouTube. Negative videos on it, China gets uh, you money. It's really hard as well dealing with people that um, I've got actually a bunch of Wu Mao comments. I think on my last video. Yeah. And uh, I don't think uh, you're welcome. Enough people believe that they exist or something like that. Like oh, they do. Like yeah. I've actually I've actually talked about this. I mentioned it a bit. I think to to Similk. Uh, mm -hmm. I've said that in Russia we actually have the almost the exact same term. Yeah, we have like uh, terms. Fifteen rubles. <laughs> yeah, pitnasti rubliovi. It's like so. The idea is that yeah, like you get yeah. paid fifteen rubles per post. <laughs> yeah, like promote pro Putin or whatever. Yes, this this Walmart fifty cent army thing is a real thing. It's a real government yeah. thing. But the majority of the people that are leaving these comments are like their own self motivated. Mm -hmm. Uh, 50 cents, you know, because they're frustrated with their lives. They've got nothing else to do. You yeah. know, you've got this huge population of like kind of lonely 
guys sitting around on the internet and they need to feel validation in their life and they don't have validation in their mm -hmm. life. So when you've got nothing that you've achieved mm -hmm. yourself personally, the only thing you can fall back on is the one thing that you never achieved in your life and that is being born in a country, right? Yeah. You didn't do that. That wasn't the result of your hard work. But, oh, I'm American. Oh, I'm Chinese. Oh, I'm Russian. That's the one thing that you never earned, right? But that's the only thing you can be proud of. Then you know that you're dealing with a big, yeah. big loser. Yeah. So he goes out there like, oh, we Chinese, I Chinese. Mm. You, you he can speak I mean? as a group. Yeah. And he can feel proud for one thing yeah, in his life. Especially like how um, mm. very, very often, like more often than not, it's men. Yeah. You know that are not very successful, lonely or whatever. They get sucked into these extremist movements. Sure. Uh, like very nationalist movements, etc., stuff like that. Yeah, of course, like Wu Mao's and these 15 ruble dudes, they do exist. Yeah. But like a lot of people look at it like all these people that leave positive comments, like, you know, I don't know, uh, Xi Jinping Jiao or something. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's only like, it's only like paid for people. But no, all, all, like all these people on the Russian internet saying that Putin is the best. They're all paid. That's not true. No, not mm. true. Uh, I, I guess it's just funny to call these people Wu Mao. It's like yeah. every single person. Oh, yeah. It's, that, it, yeah. it started as like a paid government job, and now it's like a tag term yeah, yeah, for yeah. anyone that's like yeah. pro-CCP. Yeah. So sure. it just means it's a, a, a pro-CCP troll. Right. Um, I, think it's just, I think it's just more messed up with China because like they have this very... Uh, again, like I was just saying, you can, they literally can brigade people yeah. to yeah. come and flag you. I don't really think that's ever happen to Russia, especially with me. Mm -hmm. Like, I make videos in English, and uh, I think I'm under some sort of cover because of that, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, the majority, like, I, I get recognized on the streets in Russia, but it's, like, by younger people. Sure. So, sure. like, uh, the, like, Russian boomers, you know, that, like, right. very <laughs> yeah. pro-governments, they, yeah. really, they don't really know me at all. Right. And so sure. there's never a situation where, like, you would see, like, a post on the forum, like, oh, let's go and... Uh, you know, mess this guy's video up or something like that. So I'm a bit luckier than that because, like, our society is, you know, very as well. Like, there's a lot of propaganda and everything. Mm -hmm. A lot of, like, this extreme patriotism, xenophobia, mm -hmm. so stuff yeah. like that. But but then it's still not on China's level. Where I was just going to say, there's definitely not people. that level. Yeah. yeah. China is all about censorship, right? And controlling the narrative. And that's where we come in. In China, they can shut anyone down straight away. Okay, mm -hmm. They have the right. It doesn't matter what platform you're on. You can say something that the government doesn't like and immediately the company that owns that, uh, I don't know, like Twitter type thing, like Weibo or something, they must take it down. If the government says take it down, they have to take it down. They don't mm -hmm. have a choice. There's no freedom of speech. There's no like, but I can say what I want. No, it gets taken down. And hold on. Yeah. It goes even further because it goes into private messages on messaging apps. A guy yeah. a couple days ago just got arrested for making fun of traffic police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Literally that. within hours, like they can see the chat. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's, ridiculous. That's actually from yeah. a while back. I remember, okay, that. Yeah. I remember that story, but that kind of thing happens all the time. People make like... Just, oh, no, this is a new one. Uh, well, yeah. is it? Well, okay, it's the same, <laughs> yeah, yeah, same yeah. thing though. But people make like random comments on their WeChat or whatever and they get arrested for it. You know, right. like they'll come and bust in your door. Remember that woman getting yeah, arrested yeah. for making things online? It yeah. was live streamed. This happens a lot, right? And they can control everything they want inside of China, but they can't control what people mm -hmm. say outside of China. Mm -hmm. And this pisses them off. That's why they use money to try and control it with like the NBA yeah. and mm -hmm. Hollywood and stuff. They're like, oh yeah, if you say Taiwan is a country, fuck you, then you can't play anymore. We won't put NBA on the TV. We won't do this. Or if you support yeah. the Hong Kong protests, forget about your deals. Right? It's, yeah. it's, like, it's like more messed up because I think like, because China just has like so much money. Yeah. Is that the, the, the reach of their propaganda and what they would are willing to do is like much further and as well if we compare it to russia like once again like chinese government is just way more tech savvy right yeah. i think yeah, so yeah. like they're able to use the internet to their advantage like with russian like propaganda it's so obvious uh, most of the time and but here it's like very uh with these especially i mean it's still kind of obvious but with these uh western youtubers especially promoting china some people could look at that and be like this guy's actually, you know, speaking the truth or whatever, right? It's, it's, it yeah. can be convincing. So, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, at the end of the day, reasonable people will be able to look at a video and make up their own mind. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not here to say, you must believe this, you must believe that. That's a bunch of bullshit. My videos, you know, that's another thing that infuriates everyone all the time is whenever I make videos, 
most of the time I have video evidence of what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. right? Stuff that I film myself. I only speak about my own personal experiences. I'm not like, oh, I heard about this or something. So I talk about my personal experience and then I show video clips of what I've shot myself mm -hmm. on the streets of yeah. China. And then people are like, oh, that's bullshit. He just exaggerates. It's like, no, it's the truth. It's there. You can make up your mind and you can see it for yourself. And that makes them even more angry. Because in China, they've got a saying. It's a jia chou bu ke wai yang, means the ugliness of the house can never be shown to the outside world, right? And mm -hmm. I am showing the ugliness of the house to the outside world. And I'm an outsider. Yeah. It makes them even angrier, you know? So then they have yeah. to try their best to suppress me and try to delegitimize what I'm showing. But they can't because I'm showing real stuff. Do people, do people claim that you're like sponsored by the uh oh all the time but the like cia the, the fbi the cia yeah, yeah yes that's that's their thing because <laughs> when this this will be the thing if i show oh look we're demonetized right we're not actually making money off of our videos yeah. all the time yeah. only sometimes we make money but it's not as much as you think and it's like you know their narrative falls apart you see they believe mm -hmm. that we're earning so much mm -hmm. money and then when we show them that, they're like, oh, they must be being paid by the CIA. Yeah. And that's, it's yeah. because in China, I don't think people would do what we do. They don't mm -hmm. see the incentive. Chinese uh, society, people are very insular. They only care about their little lives. They don't put themselves out yeah. there. They wouldn't do something like what we're doing unless there was a big monetary motivation. So they have to try to find where's that money coming from, but it doesn't exist. Well, it's just yeah. the, the <laughs> lengths they're going to, like yeah. CIA. Like, yeah. like, put some steps in between that. You jumped <laughs> yeah. all no, the way to it's fucking so ridiculous CIA. Because like YouTube comments are just like, okay, <laughs> like the funniest thing with me is that okay, like I make like anti-Russian government videos like in Russia. So people have claimed that I work for the CIA or something as well. But yeah, the yeah. funniest thing for me is that people have claimed that I work for Mossad in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. and, like the thing is, the thing is because I've been to Israel, I'm not Jewish, but I've been to Israel on like a trip. Yeah. Right. And so people were like, he went to get indoctrinated by the Mossad. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, <laughs> that's <laughs> he's hilarious. Like in these videos. That's super hilarious. Jesus. I mean, I, I don't it's know like, where they get the logic. How do you come up with that? Yeah, exactly. Just like you, you're not Jewish. Why would you be part of Mossad? You know, I'm, I'm <laughs> South African. Why would I be CIA? Do you think the CIA is going to recruit a random South African? Right, yeah. Dude, yeah. the CIA did a fucking terrible job if <laughs> yeah. they hired us. Yeah. Jesus. I yeah. mean, that's just kind of the narrative in Russia because, like, the main oppositional figures to the government, yeah. uh, on TV, they smear them and say that they're uh, supported by the CIA. By yeah, the, I mean, uh, that makes sense. Right? And so the exact same thing basically gets uh, also thrown into me. I'm just, like, I'm just some 21-year-old sitting in mm -hmm. buttfuck nowhere in Russia. I'm sp sponsored by the CIA. <laughs> yeah. Like, I I'm not being paid enough then. If yeah, yeah. agree. Sponsored agree. by the CIA. Like, CIA, if you want to get a hold of us and offer us something, you know, since we're being accused of being CIA anyway, feel free. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Please. Yeah. Might as well join, right? Yeah, I'd love to work for the CIA. Could It'd somebody please contact me? We probably won't awesome. be able to make YouTube videos anymore, but as soon as you see us leave, we're working for the CIA. Yeah, appreciate it. So yeah, the, uh, we had a little talk with uh, Winston and uh, Matthew or C Milk. Thank you, Winston and uh, Matthew C Milk for joining me out here today. And uh, make sure to check out their channels. Uh, they're spinning facts about China 24-7. Uh, very uh, brave gentlemen, I would say, actually, for doing what they do. So I really appreciate them coming on. And uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, no, we'd definitely like to thank you for having us on. It's good to have people that are willing to talk the truth and to see things for what they are. We thought um, we were alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, quite, quite seriously. Uh, anyone who's got any level of intelligence and decency will be able to see through the bullshit anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's always good to have people out there who can you know speak the truth For and sure. uh, we really right, appreciate yeah, it yeah. so man you know until next time you know the drill as always you know stay awesome <laughs> so yeah guys that was basically the gist of it i cut it down a little bit in the editing but still i've got most of our dialogue in there like i said it was really surreal talking to these guys because i've been watching their videos for years so like this is awesome but yeah i hope you guys that are interested in china or russia i mean we've discussed a lot of things uh, just basically interested in other countries i hope you guys got something out of this video and something found something interesting in our discussion and yeah guys i just want to thank you all for watching this video i want you to smash the like on it if you guys did enjoy it and as well guys if you want to support my channel uh with especially get a video taken down and everything uh, make sure to check out my patreon link down in the description donate to it i would greatly appreciate it and of course as well make sure to check out serpent ZA and law y86 great channels i watch them a lot i really recommend it if you want to learn stuff about china and yeah guys that is going to be pretty much it for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one peace
Peace.